आज इस वीडियो में हम आखान यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन बोर्ड सेकेंडरी स्कूल ऑल्टरनेट टू प्रैक्टिकल मॉडल एग्जामिनेशन 2021 फिजिक्स पेपर थ्री सॉल्व करेंगे सो लेट सी कि हमारे पास इस साल 2021 में आखान यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन बोर्ड के प्रैक्टिकल एग्जामिनेशन में किस तरह के क्वेश्चन आएंगे सो हेर वी हैव द मॉडल पेपर ऑफ ट्वेंटी so this paper consists of 10 questions and uh, one mark each and uh, the total time for this paper would be 20 minutes so we have a simple pendulum that consists of a hollow bob so hamare paas ek simple pendulum maujood hai jo ke andar se khali hai aur use humne ek string ke sath attach karke use hum vibrate karwa rahe hain If a bob is filled with water and a small hole made at the bottom through which the water leaks at a constant rate, तो जब ये pendulum uh, vibrate कर रहा है तो vibrate करते हुए इसके bottom में हमने hole कर दिया और hole करने से उसके अंदर मौजूद water एक constant rate से leak कर रहा है So water के leak होने से क्या होगा The mass of the pendulum decreases. मास इसका डिक्रीज होता जाएगा बिकॉज द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इन साइड दॉब डिक्रीजेज सो वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट वॉट हैपन्स टू द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ दिस पेंडुलम सो वी नो दैट टाइम पीरियड इज इक्वल टू टू पाए स्क्वायर रूट एल ओवर जी एंड टाइम पीरियड इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ मास एज वेल एज द एम्पलीट्यूड सो इस पेंडुलम का मास डिक्रीज होते होते टाइम पीरियड पे क्या फर्क पड़ेगा सो वी नो दैट टाइम पीरियड इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ मास तो इस पेंडुलम का मास कम होने की वजह से टाइम पीरियड विल नॉट बी इफेक्टेड एंड द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द सिंपल पेंडुलम विल रिमेन सेम सो ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू The time taken by a simple pendulum to swing from point Y to point X is t. ये हमारे पास एक सिंपल पेंडुलम मौजूद है जो कि Y से X तक मूव होने में जो टाइम ले रहा है it is equal to t. If the time, if the this pendulum is placed in a lab and it let the its length does not change, then the time period of the simple pendulum will be. सो वी नो दैट वाई से अगर हम रिलीज करते हैं पेंडुलम को सो इट विल मूव टूवर्ड्स एक्स एंड देन इट विल मूव टू दी एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट तो पेंडुलम विल टेक द सेम टाइम टू रीच द अदर मैक्सिमम पोजिशन सो इट विल ऑल्सो टेक टाइम टी Y पोजीशन से स्टार्ट करके पेंडुलम Z तक आ जाता है और यहाँ हमारे पास ये टाइम मौजूद है कि Y से X तक आते हुए और X से Z तक आते हुए ये टाइम इस पेंडुलम ने लिया है देन अगेन जब पेंडुलम यहाँ से दोबारा से मीन उसे होते हुए इट विल कम बैक टू दी फर्स्ट एक्सट्रीम पोजीशन इट विल अगेन टेक अ टाइम T एंड टाइम T so this will complete the one vibration and time period we know that it is a time of one complete rotation one complete rotation or one complete vibration the time required for this is known as time period so as we can see the total time required by the pendulum to move from y back to the position y will be equals to 4 t t plus t plus t and plus t the total time will be equals to 4 t so the correct answer we have in this question is this option c c is the right answer then we have question number 3 and in this question we have a prism through which the ray of light is uh, rays of ray of light is passing through this prism and we have certain angles marked as x y z and m n we have to identify these three angles angle of incidence angle of emergent and angle of deviation 
So this is our incident ray, this is our refracted ray, and this is the emergent ray. Angle of incidence is the angle between I and normal. So this is normal and this line is also normal. Similarly, angle of emergent or emergence is the angle between incident and emergent ray. Similarly, angle of deviation is the angle, uh, sorry, angle of emergent is the angle between incident and normal. And angle of deviation is the uh, deviation of incident ray when it passes, when it uh, comes out of this prism. So angle between I and E is known as deviation. So as we can see, this is the angle between I and N. So this would be angle of incidence. Then angle of emergent is I and N uh, is between E and N. So angle between E and N is the angle M, that is the angle of emergence. And angle of deviation is angle Z between incident and emergent ray. So incidence is X and uh, emergence is M and uh, deviation is Z. So these pair of uh, these three angles are correctly represented in option D. So this is the right answer for this question number three. Now let's come to our next question that are four and five. If the real depth of pool is four centimeter, that is our real depth and apparent depth of the pool will be. We have to find the appearing depth and the refractive index of water is given as 1.33. We know that the formula, the real depth divided by appearing depth. Real depth ko appearing depth se divide karne se where you got the result as refractive index. So let's substitute the values. We have to find the appearing depth. It will be equals to real depth divided by refractive index. So real depth is four and refractive index, refractive index is 1.33. So four divided by 1.33. So it will be equals to 3.0075 meters. So appearance depth is equals to three. So the correct answer will be our option C. Then let's come to our question number five. In the given diagram, an object is placed at two times the focal length in front of a converging lens. So we have an object that is in front of two times focal length uh, from the converging lens the distance between the optical center and the image. So we have to find the distance between optical center and the image. And this is known as Q, that is the image distance. So image distance we find out. Karna hai. So from the special cases of a ray diagram or uh, image formation by converging lens, we have studied that when an object is P is at 2F, we know that the image is also formed at 2F. So this diagram ke andar is object ki jo image hai, it will also formed at 2F. That will be real, inverted and equal in size. Sorry, we have to draw this image at 2F. So this is F, so this would be approximately 2F. So this will be our image at 2F. And we know that if F is 10, so the distance of 2F will be 20 centimeters. So correct answer for this question will be option C. Now let's see question number six. If a 10 ohm resistor is powered by a five volt battery, so we have resistance, we have voltage, 
and we have to find the amount of current flowing through this resistor so the amount of current we know that it is equals to v over r according to the ohms law so v is 5 volts and the resistance is 10 ohms so this will be simply equals to 0.5 amperes so the correct answer is option a let's come to question number 7 which of the following option give the equivalent resistance of 2 ohms हमारे पास चार सर्किट्स मौजूद हैं इन चारों सर्किट्स में हमें देखना है कि भी वे इन विच सर्किट डी इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू टू ओम्स सो ऑप्शन ए में हमारे पास एक दो टू रेजिस्टेंस का सीरीज सर्किट मौजूद है एंड वी नो दैट डी इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू फोर ओम्स प्लस फोर ओम्स इक्वल � ओम्स तो सीरीज सर्किट के अंदर हमारे पास टोटल एट आ रही है इन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन सो सेकंड ऑप्शन के अंदर हमारे पास इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस हो जाएगी वन ओवर फोर प्लस वन ओवर फोर इक्वल्स तू टू ओवर फोर सो वन ओवर आर इज इक्वल्स तू टू ओवर फोर दैट इज वन एंड टू वन ओवर टू so total resistance after reciprocal on both sides we will get two ohms. So the uh, correct option is option B in which we have a total resistance of two ohms as per the question. Let's come to our question number eight. When a steady current passes through the conductor as shown in this diagram. So we have the direction of current downward. We have to identify the direction of magnetic field. We know that in a straight current carrying conductor, the direction of magnetic field lines are in the form of concentric circles. So this will be the direction of uh, magnetic field according to the right hand grip rule. So as we can see, this is the direction that is in the direction of clock. So option B will be the right answer that the magnetic field lines would be clockwise around this wire. Then let's come to our question number nine. A burglar alarm is set in a room. The room has a two entry points, a door and a window. The alarm should ring if the door and window both are open. So let's say uh, this is our door. Uh, actually, this is a gate that is connected to the door and uh, the other is window. And the output of these two gates, window and door is connected to our alarm. So this alarm is on means one when door and window both are open. The opening, uh, the opening of the door and window are the inputs of the ringing alarm is the, uh, and the ringing alarm is the output. The gate should be used in the given system will be. So as we can see that uh, <clears throat> this one and this one, if both are open, so the alarm is on. So as we can see, this is one and this is one. These are the inputs of this alarm and the output is one. This means this is our AND gate in which if all the inputs are one, the output becomes one. So correct answer is option B. Let's come to our last question of uh, this model paper to 2021. The name of the logic gate represented by the given truth table. So we have open, open, and the output is zero. It's mean zero, zero, and zero. Opens, close means zero, one is one, and uh, one, zero is one, and one, one is one. So as we can see that if all the inputs are zero, output is zero. If any of the input is one, the output becomes one. So this is the 
a working or the function of OR gate. So the correct option in this last question is option A.